Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video about Toon Boom Harmony. In this video I'm going to talk about a little known secret, maybe you already know it, maybe you don't. It's called the Envelope Creator Wizard, I think, and I'm going to show you where it is and what it does and why it's useful and why it's going to save you a ton of time. Follow me for secrets. So I've got my little illustration here as a guide. Now this is just all drawn on one layer called the cleanup layer. I'm going to press Control R, Command R, R for render, to add um, a drawing. I'm just going to add and close it. This is just going to be my example layer. The envelope creator works best on simple shapes. It's basically if you wanted to create um, an envelope deformer and you didn't want to click around and arrange all the points, you want to create something basically you know, perfect for your rig. I'm just going to give it a peg. This would be kind of like what I'm working with. I just move that pivot point just to soothe my soul and there we have this bit it's ready to be to be rigged maybe I'm creating the sort of the the blazery part here I would generally rig this as a rectangle and then deform it but I would rig it uh, I would rig it narrow and then go wide with the shape because when you squash in like this lower part here it will pinch and the color with an envelope creator will push out on the outside. It will do this thing called like shearing. So um, always start small and pull it wider. And that tends to, you know, it keeps the, the color will always fill the bit that it's going wider on. You'll see what I mean in a second. But envelope creator, what do we do? So normally if we wanted to create an envelope, create points all around here, four points, I'd have to go up to the rigging tool and then go to my tool properties, click the envelope creator and go dink, dink, dink dink and then hold down alt or option to connect it all up and then we can go back around hold down alt or option and adjust all these points if i really want to get it in the center somewhere i'm gonna to have to like fiddle around with it yada 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 you know what i'm on about so it takes a bit of messing around to get it perfect and it creates a deformer group what it can do instead is click on the drawing now you might not see this menu up here but if you go along to your top menu on your screen um, click animation and then go to envelope creator you probably will be thinking if you haven't used this how did I not see this thing well nobody goes in the top menus really anymore in Toon Boom so uh, yeah I'll, I'll let you off envelope creator create envelope if you've got a really uh, complicated shape it might be a little bit you know not as perfect it might not save you a lot of time but for creating envelopes on like triangles or squares or hexagons or that kind of thing it's perfect it finds the shapes all you have to do really is set your deformer points so I'm gonna have four one for each corner you can choose envelope mode which is yeah what we want to use we want to use all corners um, you can choose to optimize handles. I don't really see much difference sometimes when it does that. I think it kind of optimizes them, the handle to shape the shape better. The shape, if you've got a kind of a curve on it, it will try and make the handle fit the curve. But play around with these settings, concave smoothing, all these smooth passes and that kind of stuff. Mess around with those too much. It's more about the points and then I'll shape it a bit more myself. Then just click create envelope. Like magic it appears. Then you can just click there little close button and you will see well, the best thing is it's kept it perfectly in the center align but it's also placed these handles perfectly now this is the bit that I really like because it's often a pain to get the handles the same length so if you are creating a shape where you want the same length it's a massive time saver I'll just show you the thing I was on about shearing so if you put them too close together it pushes through the outside so it's better to start small and then pull it bigger because it just always fills that gap with color. And then you can always adjust, you know, if you get to this sort of point and you go, actually, I want this handle to be bigger. There's nothing to stop you going in, adjusting these handles and coming back out of edit mode so that you can pull these up and make your shape a bit more applicable to your character. So that's the envelope creator mode, just a few uh, provisos on this it doesn't work if you have a deformer above it in the chain so if you have like a kinematic output and this is kind of the child of it it won't work it will just pop the deformer inside the group of the deformer group above it it won't work and you'll probably keep pressing it and thinking why isn't it working and it will just all the time keep adding groups inside the deformer group so be careful of that one 
I've taught people where they've gone, that envelope creator thing you taught me doesn't work. And then I'll look inside the above group and they've got thousands of, well, not thousands, but five deformer groups in there. Just remember that one. If you do want to use it on something where you have a deformer group above it, just temporarily disconnect the child um, so the connection from this thing to whatever's above it and then use the envelope creator and the bug will be swatted and it will work perfectly. I hope the envelope creator really speeds up your uh, your production and your creating in Toon Boom and your rigging and thanks for watching.